Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of, Ju of August, August of 2021. Yeah, thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. My name is Eric and if you are returning, what's up guys? So this is a general reading. Yeah, please keep that in mind. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, we could be talking to a cross watcher here, which means that the roles could be reversed. Also keep that in mind, as well as the fact that this is a timeless reading just because it's coming through for the month of August. It doesn't mean that it has to absolutely resonate for you during that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and if you would like to get some extra content from me throughout the month, Check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link for that can be found in the description box below. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Also, all of that information can be found in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's get into this here. So, yeah, um, it, not surprisingly, but your, in, your, your energy is fairly similar to Taurus's energy. Um, both of you have this Ten of Swords focus right now, okay? Ending something, moving, completing a certain cycle, com moving on from something. For you specifically, Virgo, I feel like you're in a period right now where you're really moving on, moving on in some way. Um, you have the Ten of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Ten of Swords is the Seven of Pentacles to the Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Um, it feels like... Okay, it really does feel like Taurus, not Taurus, I'm so sorry, Virgo. But again, your energy is feeling very similar to Taurus's energy. But um, you, Virgo, are very much focused on moving forward. And I feel like there's a strong sense of having learned some really valuable, deep, strong lessons in this last period or whatever this Ten of Swords energy is representing for you having learned a great deal from it, Seven of Pentacles, on how to move forward or which way to go or how it is you want to move forward or whatever. And that has led you to the Four of Wands, which is a really strong and solid creative and spiritual energy within yourself. Now, the other thing you have here that's telling me that you really learned and you're focused on moving forward, you're focused on creating something new, you have the Ten of Pentacles here, with the King of Wands. So the Ten of Pentacles is representing two things for you, Virgo. First of all, the Ten of Pentacles is representing a completion of a life lesson or a life circumstance. And that's another reason why I feel like whatever it is that you've completed in your life, you have really gained a very deep and clear understanding of it. Like you really learned a lot. And now you're applying that towards whatever it is you're working towards in the future. And that's where we get to the second way that the Ten of Pentacles is resonating for you right now, Virgo. You have a long-term focus, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be translating into a career focus, which is great. I did hear that career-wise. Um, others of you, it has to do with money, how you, it is you want to make money and whatnot, whatever, but you have a long-term focus. And that's where the King of Wands also comes in because there's a level of security and, and um, um, self-belief and confidence and whatnot, whatever, that it's helping you move towards this new direction or helping you move in this direction towards whatever it is ultimately that you're trying to create ten of pentacles and i get a very strong feeling virgo that whatever it is you're working on creating in your life moving forward has within it a deep intrinsic understanding of where it is you were in the past and what it is you would like to create in relation to that or because of that or in opposition to that or what it is you would like to create because of what you've learned in that ending in that situation okay now you have two more cards here that are interesting it's the seven of swords with the page of cups and Virgo I feel like this is you being very secretive about what it is you actually really truly want I feel like you're being very protective of that. You're keeping that to yourself because this page of cups is giving me feelings of like your inner child, um, what it is your inner child truly wants, what it is you really feel on a deep level in a very vulnerable way, what it is at the core of your being, what it is you truly want in life. 
and you're moving forward towards it, like you're actively trying to get it, but I don't think you're telling anybody about it. I don't think you're communicating about it. I think you're keeping it very close to yourself and not letting anybody in on it unless you want them to be involved or they are involved in some way or it's actually happening or something like that. I don't know. But I'm getting with the Seven of, Pen seven of Swords, excuse me, the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. Not the Two of Cups, I'm sorry. The Seven of Swords and the Page of Cups. Um, you are keeping your emotional reality very close to you. You're not letting anybody in on it. And that actually could be a lot of what it is you've learned from this previous cycle that you're now applying into your life moving forward, okay? Excellent, Virgo. I'm going to reset. I'm also going to pause because my nose is acting up. Hold on. Okay, Virgo. I'm going to reset um, and... Okay, Justice... I mean, no. I mean, yeah, that was a lot of good stuff, but it also was a lot of cards. Ace of Pentacles is coming out now for you. There's, okay, hold on. Wait, no, no, stop, stop. We're not doing this. I'm so sorry, Virgo. I'm trying to, I'm trying to reset the deck here, and, like, there's all kinds of stuff, like, big stacks of cards that are coming out right now. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> I'm not reading, like, ten cards at once at this point. Like, can we not, please? Thanks, Spirit. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move forward here. I'm going to give this shuff a shuffle. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to give this five shuffles. And we will see what the rest of your messages are for the month. Yeah, here we go, Virgo. This is one for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2021. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for a complete picture as to what could be happening for you this month or in this time period. This is two. Also, if you're looking for love-specific messages, check your Venus sign or the Venus sign of your love interest, potential partner, or actual partner. Yeah, this is two. Why don't the cards... Lose? I've been having such trouble shuffling these cards. Two. It's like they don't want to shuffle. They don't want to cooperate or something. But then the readings have been great with them. I don't get it. Anyway, this is three for you, Virgo. And this is four. And this is five. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August of 2021. Let's cut the deck. Boop! All right. Overall energy for you, Virgo. You have the Queen of Pentacles. This is so, like... I know the Queen of Pentacles technically represents Capricorn energy because the Queens are the cardinal signs, but this is so quintessential you. Like, you have been showing up as the Queen of Pentacles for the longest time, Virgo, all right? What does this mean for you? I mean, it means the same thing that it's always meant. You are in your glory. You're in your power. You've got the bag. You've got the, like, you've got the goods, uh, but what I'm getting for you right now, Virgo, is this is you stepping into your really strong, clean, abundant power. And it doesn't necessarily have to anything. It has nothing to do with gender, okay? Some of you, if you're a man or you're more masculinely oriented, this queen of pentacles power, this no bullshit, but like unconditionally loving, like 100% willing to be there for her people, for her family, whatnot, whatever, but also like she's not going to take any shit. That's the type of energy that could be coming online for you. Uh, and you're settling into it. For others of you that are on the feminine side, you're really, really, really settling into it. You're embodying this power. This element and the Queen of Pentacles, keep in mind that the Queen of Pentacles represents self-worth and knowing your self-worth, right? Owning, owning that, honoring that, you know, leading with that. Um, so this is a very strong energy of you knowing your worth right now, Virgo. And that could also be a reason as to why you are manifesting or working on manifesting something, but you're keeping your true desires out of the public eye. Like you're not trying to tell people about it. Because you know your worth, you know what you're worthy of, and you know how people operate, we'll say. Okay. Uh, underneath the Queen of Pentacles, you do have the Knight of Wands. Underneath the Knight of Wands is the Five of Wands. And then underneath the Five of Wands is the Nine of Wands. Uh, all right, Virgo, what I'm getting from this is creative chaos, okay? Um, you just have to stick with it and keep going and get through it. Energies might be all over the place. Energies might be way up in the air. Um, 
But I feel like with this Knight of Wands energy, you're moving forward with conviction, Virgo. But it's, uh, and this is not a bad thing. It's just that this is creative chaos. There might be a lot of confusion around you. There might be a lot of what ifs or a lot of up in the air. A lot of things are up in the air, but ultimately, Virgo, I, I feel like this is a good energy for you. I'm not really getting much else than what I've already said. Okay, so instead of trying to beat a dead horse, <laughs> let's move forward. First half and second half of your reading. Yes, first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until this current moment. Second half is going to look at the current moment up until the future. Yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading, you have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, building. And it's so funny because I almost said Taurus again, and Taurus is in that, is, is in a very similar energy, okay? Um, if I, kind of feeling like a void period, but still working towards something, building on something, building towards something. And I do kind of, Virgo, I kind of get the feeling that you're kind of in this void space too. It's just a little bit different for you, and I can't really seem to put my finger on it. I can't really seem to, to, to bring it into clarity enough to define it, but it just, it feels similar to Taurus, though. Maybe you might want to go watch that Taurus reading also. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Emperor. Okay. Power, authority. All right. You're driving the ship. You're owning this focus is something, is what I'm hearing. Three of Pentacles and the Emperor. I mean, I, I, I just, you're taking, okay, what I'm also hearing is you're taking responsibility here. You're taking responsibility. You're taking ownership over what it is, that it, whatever it is you are working on, developing, building, whatnot, whatever, okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading. You ha Okay, interesting. There's the Two of Cups. For some of you, we're talking about a relationship. You're moving forward towards a relationship, Virgo. For others of you, this Two of Cups energy is the bond between the masculine and feminine within you that are working in tandem. I did just hear, I, I did hear that when the first, when I first saw this card, when it first came out, I heard working in tandem. Okay, so that's what, that's the Two of Cups. That's the two energies, the masculine and the feminine within you that are working together. But it also could be in the external. You could be in a relationship with someone in which you guys are really working on focusing on building and what I'm getting for this now Virgo is that you have a relationship or some of you have a relationship with someone that's butting into a romance and you don't know it whatever it is you guys are doing you're working together you're working in tandem to build something but I feel like something is growing underneath that there's something more which is beautiful two of cups is coupled with the hermit but for the most part for you guys, Virgo, this is you. I mean, the hermit is you. This is that that represents your energy, Virgo. But this is you, your inner reality, your masculine and your feminine working together. Compromise to compromise. Some of you are working on finding this internal balance through compromise with yourself. All right, your challenge here, Virgo, in the first half of your reading is the Eight of Swords. Coming out of some sort of confinement, and quite frankly, Virgo, this feels like typical Virgo shit. Like, um, I don't know how else to say it like that, other than that. Typical Virgo things, like what would keep, what would stop a Virgo in their tracks normally is what I feel like this Eight of Swords energy is, is for you. The Eight of Swords is coupled with the Four of Swords. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry for that pause, but I was really, I, I mean, I was trying to figure out what to say other than that, but that's really all that was coming through. But you have the Eight of Swords now that's coupled with the Four of Swords, okay? So needing to... Um, 
uh, honestly, Virgo, the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords is saying your challenge in the current or in the first half of your reading is really needing to like stop yourself from focusing too much on what would typically catch you up. Like when you find yourself sinking into those mindsets, that mindset or like the, the thought patterns that are typical of you that just get you all bound up. You got to stop and say and, and be like, whoa, OK, no, this is this is a toxic pattern or I recognize this for what it is. Like, I'm not going to allow myself. I'm not going to do this to myself. I'm not going to work myself up like this. I'm not going to work myself up so now that I'm feeling all tied and bound and blah, 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 like I'm not doing that to myself this time. <sighs> That's part of this creative process for you right now is what I'm hearing and feeling. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading is the two of pentacles. This is all about physical balance for you right now. I literally feel like you're in a void, just like Taurus. And it's all about making sure that you stay balanced. It's about, it's all about me. Uh, what I'm hearing with the two of pentacles for you, Virgo, is dotting your I's and crossing your T's, okay? Just making sure that everything is um, in alignment, everything is working well, everything is in focus. <sighs> Sorry for the sniffles, you guys. Two of pentacles is coupled with the king of wands. I feel like you have a strong focus. You have an idea of where it is you want to go, or at least you have an emotional drive or a creative drive, a spiritual drive, whatever, to get you somewhere. It's all about maintaining a sense of balance in your life right now so that you can continue moving forward towards whatever it is you're passionately moving towards. All right. Cool. All right, Virgo, let's get into the second half of your reading. Yeah, so we're going to look at the current energies looking off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading. Second half. In the second half of your reading, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, keeping up your boundaries. I feel like you guys, I feel like, Virgo, I really feel like you're fighting off a lot of people. Or a lot of energies around you that are fighting or vying for your time, attention, and energy. And you just don't have enough of that to give in your reserves. So you're really pushing people away, fighting people off, like keeping up. And, and it's not like in a really aggressive manner. It's really just about keeping up your boundaries uh, so that you can be in some sort of restful time period as you move forward towards what it is you're moving towards or whatever it is you want. The Seven of Wands is coupled with the Six of Pentacles, very similar to Taurus, okay? Um... You know, if it's not balanced, if it's not reciprocal, then you don't want any part of it. But for you, Virgo, I feel there is there is um, there is a strong feeling of healing happening for you in this time period. And this is something this is something that's coming through this Queen of Pentacles energy, knowing your worth, because I feel like as you're moving forward, Virgo, you're really having to say no to people which is something you may have struggled with a lot in the past. That's what I'm feeling here. The Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles is representing the energy of you saying no if something isn't reciprocal or if something just leaves you feeling drained or if something just isn't working at that time period. You know what I mean? Not overextending yourself, not doing more, not doing extra, not doing anything that is not needed or not necessary. But this, uh, but again, Virgo, this feels like a struggle for you right now. It feels like it should be your challenge, but it only feels that way because it's, I feel like it's something fairly new. It's like, like having, to, like being able to say no, you know, you may have struggled with that for the longest time. And now you're actually putting that into practice. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the second half of your reading, you have, okay, look at that. There's the queen of cups now. Interesting. Now the queen of cups one of her lessons is needing to have boundaries. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Cups. All right, but what this is speaking to for you right now, Virgo, is um, you psychically, or at least on an emotional level, weeding through a bunch of stuff. And I'm hearing weeding through a bunch of toxic stuff. Coming to an emotional understanding of it. But see, okay, all right, now I'm getting it, Virgo. You're in this void too. But this void feels a little different for you than it does for Taurus. And what it feels like right now, Virgo, for you is your focus in this void, your conscious focus in this void space 
is your emotional reality and what it is you truly feel about something, how it is you truly feel about something and sifting through that. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups. Sifting through or, or, or feeling through all that and, and coming to terms with things. Okay, coming to an emotional understanding of certain things that need to be cleared up in your life. Okay, I hope this is making sense, Virgo. Your challenge in the second half of your reading is the hanged man. So you're having to come to a different perspective here, Virgo. And that's why you're in this void type period. I mean, this void period is ultimately serving a purpose. Your higher good is serving the manifestation of something ultimately down the road. But for you, this void period does have you feeling kind of stuck or stagnant or maybe just feeling or, or in a position where you have got to change your perspective somehow. And I'm feeling like you need to change your perspective somehow in order for you to move forward. The hanged man is coupled with... The Empress, I literally just heard Virgo, you can have whatever it is that you want. But you've got to change your perspective somehow. Okay. Oopsie poopsie. Ugh, I dropped a card. All right, closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo, in the second half of your reading. You have the Ten of Cups now, too. So, so, such, so much similar energy to Taurus. I really recommend you watch the Taurus reading because more came out for Taurus than is coming out for you right now. It's, it's like both you and Taurus were in this void space, but at least I could pick out some things that were going on for Taurus. You, it just feels empty. Like I'm, I'm barely getting anything. Like I'm struggling to get a message for you here. Like literally Virgo, I'm looking at this 10 of cups and I'm getting nothing. Which is leading me to ask you a question. What does the Ten of Cups mean for you? There it is. Now I get it, Virgo. The Ten of Cups represents emotional, will, uh, emotional, ultimate emotional happiness. It can also represent a home and family life. But it, and it, 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 does, it does represent family and home and community, just like the Ten of Pentacles. But this is more on an emotion. This is on an emotional level. Right? Because we're in the cups, the realm of the cups, which is emotions. But Virgo, I want to ask you, what does your, what does the Ten of Cups really truly mean or feel like to you? What does your em ultimate emotional wish, uh, wish fulfillment or your ultimate emotional fulfillment or happiness look like to you? What does it encompass? That's what you're needing to come to terms with. That's what you're needing to get an understanding of. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups. And that's, I, I think that's a big reason as to why I'm sitting here in this energy trying to channel and trying to get a message for you and I feel like you're in a void, but there's nothing. Why is there nothing, Virgo? What would you fill this void with? The Empress. What would you manifest? What would you bring to life? You could have anything. Ten of Cups is coupled with Ah, the Four of Cups. Ooh, 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 apathy. You know, Virgo, any other individual in this position that I'm in here right now, reading through this, trying to bring you a message, would probably sit here and say to you, don't be so apathetic. Don't be so doom and gloom. Like, don't, don't, like, get over the boredom or, like, you know, snap out of it, Virgo, and get connected to what it is you truly want. But actually, Virgo, I don't want to say that to you. I feel like you're in this void and there's no message coming through for you or I'm struggling to pull a message through for you right now because this is where you need to be. Feel the emptiness. Feel the void, feel the lack of appreciation, feel the boredom, feel the lack of desire to move towards something. Feel the lack of desire to really feel anything. Be, I think that's what you need right now, Virgo. I think you need some time to stop striving so hard towards what it is 
ultimately you want to achieve, you wish to achieve, or you feel like you should be achieving, and just be in this void. Feel nothing for a while. Which also makes sense, Virgo, because like if I look back onto the struggle a lot of Virgos have been through in the last three or four years since I've been keeping track, maybe you do need to go through a period of just not feeling anything. Yeah. I like that for you. Okay, cool. Let's close out your reading with Oracle Guidance. From, I, want, I actually really, I want to go with the Gaia Oracle this time for you. Yeah? Cool. Good Lord. Get it together, Eric. Get it together. Jeez. All right, here we go, Virgo. I'm going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what closing message we have for you. Yeah? This is one. This is two. This is three. For my Virgos, closing oracle message, please. Spirit to close out this reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is four. And this is five. All right, Virgo, let's see. What closing message do we have for you, Virgo, to close out this reading for my Virgos? Closing message, please, spirit for Virgo. For Virgo, closing message, please, spirit for Virgo. There it is right there. Interesting. Okay, you have card number 18, Virgo, apprehension, moving out into the world, doubt and fear. It's time to get going. There is nothing to fear. Take the first step, just do it. And, it will and you will find that all will work out for you. The longer you procrastinate, the harder it will be. It's understandable that you feel unsure of yourself. The first step is sometimes the hardest. You have much to offer and you will realize this as you move out into the world, Queen of Pentacles. Be brave. Even if you initially make mistakes, you will be well received. Treat every day as a learning experience. As your confidence increases, so too will your self-esteem and success. You are a sincere and beautiful person. Do not doubt yourself. Okay. There you have it, Virgo. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye.